dear students in the basic accounting lecture series these lecture series are for dummies who do not know about accounting so these lecture series will be helpful in this lecture we will explain the accounting principles accounting principles there are lots of uh, journal accepted accounting principles and uh, also some uh, rules which uh, you should uh, learn and you should uh, adopt in accounting and uh, one by one uh, we are explaining it first principle is uh, business entity principle as per this business uh, as per this principle business is different from businessman there is uh, one two entity entities one is business and other is businessman if uh, business will and give anything uh, to the business uh, business can give cash uh, can give furniture building machine it will be capital and uh, businessman has a right uh, to uh, get uh, return on the capital return on capital and uh, if business will give anything to the businessman's personal use whether it is a cash or any other thing it will be derived and a business has a right to get uh, uh, the interest on this drawing whether it is a business of individual partnership uh, or private and limited company this principle will apply second principle is uh, money measurement principle as per this principle we record all the transactions uh, which we can measure in money base of basis of record it must be measured it must be measured in money there are two uh, employees they are quarreling each other in any day but uh, there is no need to uh, record this quarrel but uh, if uh, there is a big loss of the property of business then we will pass the entry of uh, loss of the property due to quarrel due to fighting between two employees because we can measure the loss of property as fifty thousand dollar sixty thousand dollar so many accounting period principle third period 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 is it is a okay language one one minute i will check yes principle principle as per this principle the period must be one accounting year means calendar years 
we start from 1st April to next calendar year 31st March. This is 12 months. Because uh, we can show our financial performance and financial position in this period. And fourth is uh, full disclose this close principle. As per this principle, we should disclose all the important facts and information in our financial statements. We should not uh, hide any factor or information. Means uh, if uh, uh, we have a future liability and a case is pending in the court, we should disclose this fact in the footnote of uh, our balance sheet. Fifth is materiality principle. Materiality principle. As per this principle, we should ignore all the information which is not important and uh, which are uh, very small of size and we can uh, merge it uh, in other important information. For example, uh, we pay the one cup of milk. Instead of to record this transaction, we can record one month's cup bill uh, in our uh, cash book. So this is material. With this we can decrease the size of our uh, accounting records. Sixth is uh, matching concept. A matching principle. As per this principle, we will calculate our net profit by matching our total expenses and total incomes. Excess of income over the expenses will our uh, net profit. And the seventh principle is a dual aspect. Aspect principle. As per this principle, a dual aspect principle, there are two parts of uh, any accord of transaction. When we uh, pass the journal entry of uh, any transaction, it uh, must uh, have at least two accounts. It means uh, any transaction affects two sides. One is the debit side and other is credit side of uh, any uh, record. This principle is based on the accounting equation. On this basis, uh, uh, for showing the assets, total assets equal to the total liabilities, uh, we have to uh, uh, to uh, convert one transaction into two uh, uh, sides. One is uh, debit side and other is credit side. It is must. For example, we started the business with 10 lakh dollar. These 10 lakh dollars we have received in cash. So one part of uh, this transaction is debit, cash account debit and other is the businessman's capital so the giver is businessman and he gave in the form of capital so capital account will be credit with 10 lakh dollar okay like this we will record all the transactions and this is this this principle is a dual aspect principle okay thank you very much